Well, I'm back at the Midwest Dream Car Collection in Manhattan, Kansas. Actually, I've never left, but I film these all in one day, and it's a week apart. Drew here has brought two more cars out for me, and this is a lot more in my wheelhouse than a Ford GT and a Lamborghini Aventador. Got some funny doors, though. I've actually never driven either of these cars, and I've always wanted to, so this is quite a treat, starting with the DeLorean. So it's, what year is the DeLorean? 81. 81, and the Bricklin is much older, 75 or 75, so? 75, yeah. So these are two really weird cars that had the same original goal. It was supposed to be an exciting, fun sports car with funky doors that was sort of affordable. And they, other than the door part, they kind of failed. Now these cars were both thought up by Americans who both like Americans, like Trump Tower or whatever. They named the cars after themselves. John DeLorean and Mr. Bricklin, what's Bricklin? Malcolm Bricklin. Malcolm Bricklin, except they didn't build their cars in America. The Bricklin was built in Canada, but it originally had a Chrysler engine, and then later, I think 1975, had the Ford engine. And this was built in the United Kingdom, and it has a French six-cylinder engine. And neither of them are very fast. I think this one's 130 horsepower, About. am I right? And these were in the mid-200s, so should be faster here, but this one has an automatic. They're both really cool to look at, and they both have the same gullwing doors, but they operate totally different. So with the DeLorean, completely normal opening and closing operation, except that it has a gullwing. And with this, they decided to make it a hydraulic affair. So you have to push a button on the side here every time you want to open and close the door, and it takes forever. So you have to sit and wait every single time to do that. It's ridiculous. And for your passenger, too. I might as well close this door now to just make it all, all better. So I'm super excited about the DeLorean. It's stainless steel body. This is a car that I've always wanted. Whereas this thing, <laughs> it's all, all resin. And uh, there were a lot of quality issues with the Bricklin and the DeLorean, but more so the Bricklin is what it's famous for. Uh, yeah, so this is an all original car and it's actually one of the best examples we've seen. Yeah. Um, it does maintain some warping and things like that, but overall it's, it's pretty, it is very cool. I love the pop-up headlights. And SV1, I think, was Safety Vehicle 1. Safety Vehicle 1. Right, so they were really obsessed with, with safety, obviously, with the impact bumpers. This is also a very stiff, rigid structure. But if you rolled it, I'm not sure how you can escape. They, they didn't think of that in the Safety Vehicle 1, did they? Maybe they put a pin up here you can pull? There is a back hatch pin, but that wouldn't help either. So... You're kind of not the safest vehicle. <laughs> Somebody will correct us. Some Brickland guy will say you can escape. Like the Mercedes SLS I know has explosive door hinges where it detects a rollover and then explodes the door latches to get you out. But uh, I think the only thing exploding in the Brickland were the uh, pneumatic door, <laughs> yeah. the thing that opens it. And even when we were doing this, we opened up both doors and it was struggling to open the second door. Apparently, if you really want to kill one of these, you open one and close the other at the same time and that'll really stress the system out and then completely blow it up and then you can't open the doors. We've got a race, Drew. I don't think anybody's ever lined up one of these cars like for a drag race, the two weird gold wing cars. I typed it into Google, didn't see any. Yeah, I think I'll take the DeLorean. You can take the Bricklin. And we might as well do a Le Mans style start, you know, where you run into the car and get in. So one, two, three, go. He is so smoked. <laughs> He's going to be there forever with that door. <laughs> but when he does get here, this will be the drag race that nobody has ever asked for. And Hoobie's garage will deliver. My window roll, won't roll down, so I can't even trash talk you. So on the count of three, one, two, three, all right? I'm gonna honk. Does this thing have a horn? I don't even know if it has a horn. All right. 
You honk. One, two, three. You. Here we go. Oh, the DeLorean pulled away! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Even though it only has 130 horsepower, it just got the better launch because of the transmission gearing. Don't feel like you have to get out. I know you're kind of stuck in there. But did you get this? You had the jump on me a little bit too. I did. And it's still with 100 more horsepower just because of that transmission, huh? I think it's the transmission. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, shall we take these out to sea? Might as well. Now, this DeLorean has 23,000 miles, it's in pretty good condition. I know these things have common problems like the leather dash wrinkling. The headlight's getting eyebrows as the plastic warps, but this one is actually in really nice shape. It's downshift. Pass. Oh, yeah. It's not fast. <laughs> no, no, no. It's definitely not fast. But it is fun. And you hear a lot of people say that these cars would be nothing without the movie, and everybody wants a DeLorean until they actually drive one. And I get their point a little bit, especially since they cost so much money now. Probably $40,000 for an example like this, but uh, I'm still smiling. It's not like it's boring. I mean, you can go buy a 450 horsepower Corvette for that money, and I guess have a good time, but really, on public roads at normal speeds, 30 to 55 miles an hour, you're gonna have a lot more fun moving this thing around. And I just grind the gears. Yeah, it's a lot more engaging. How about a second? There we go. Yeah, we've got a few weird rattles. The driver's side mirror is flapping pretty bad. I mean, it's just normal old car stuff. It's a hoopty. It's great. I love it. What do you think? It's fun. Let's see what this is all about. There's one weird machine. Oh man, I have definitely been transported back to a different decade here. And down it comes. Ooh, that makes a rather unpleasant noise. <laughs> a modern gold wing hydro pneumatic door with roller windows. Really? Sounds like an old Ford. Oh, this is hilarious. And look at that clock. It's an old rotary clock. Like you'd have it on a nightstand, like your grandma's nightstand. Oh, that's amazing. And these gauges. This is so vintage. I've never been in a car with a diagonal accelerator pedal. This is so weird. One thing's for sure, the Bricklin is a lot more comfortable. These seats, I don't even know what to call this material. It's supposed to be velour, but it feels, <laughs> it feels a little bit like sandpaper. But it is very, very comfortable. <laughs> That's a land yacht. This thing rides and handles just like a land yacht, not too far off from the 78 Lincoln. Oh, that's hilarious. Woo! <laughs> Got the tail end a little loose there, but when I floor it, that is sad. And I think it all has to do with this transmission. They put a horrible automatic in here with a manual, probably completely transformed the experience of this car, but <laughs> I definitely want to be in that DeLorean. Don't get me wrong, I really do like weird cars. I love how strange this thing is. And I love cars from the 70s with the Naga hide and the shag and everything else. But this, not a very well put together machine. It's hard to believe this is an actual production car that they built. Somebody built these. It wasn't something you'd get in a crate in pieces and you'd assemble it yourself. Boy, oh boy. Well, Drew, I never thought there'd be a car that exists that would make a DeLorean feel like a tight handling sports car, but <laughs> this is it. So I'm gonna have to give it to the DeLorean. Drew, what do you think? Same for me, DeLorean all the way. You agree? I do. <laughs> Feels like the type of car you could zip around in all day and it's fun. Yes, fun the whole time. yes. I mean, you don't have to have four or 500 horsepower to have a blast, especially at legal speeds, and that's what makes the DeLorean great. I'm definitely a fan 
I wanted one before and I still want one now. But uh, if you can't afford one, you can still come see it here at the Midwest Dream Car Collection. They'll be opening up soon. You can come check out the DeLorean that I drove and the Bricklin. It, it's not a bad car. It's very interesting. Uh, so check that out. They'll be opening here in a few months. Yeah. Manhattan, Early Kansas. 2019. That's, That's awesome. It's so cool we're getting a car museum and it's great that they have me out to do this. So thank you so much, Drew. Thank you. It's been a blast. It has and been. I'm going to head home. Thank you for watching.